I've never seen a doctor for 10 years. They have helped him to become heavyweight champion. Through the Illuminati, he has gone from strength to strength. But all that's about to come to an end. Hi, champ. Look, take a seat. Look, there's something I need to talk to you about. Right, champ. Big fight today. Yeah, I'm going to break his face. Have you heard? I'm odds on favorite. Look, Hammer, I'll cut right to the point. We discussed it at the lodge last night, and you're going to have to throw the fight. What? What you talking about? Take the fall in the third round. The lodge is bet against you. You'll get a cut. The Hammer don't throw fights for no one. Look, I've been loyal through the years. I'm not folding. I can beat this guy. I know, but you know the deal. We all got to play our part. Look, haven't we been good to you since you joined us? Hammer, without us, you would still be that guy, the guy begging for a title shot. We got you the title shot, remember? Your loyalty to the Masons is being put to the test. So what's it going to be? My man, please, please don't ask me to do this. Oh, you think I'm asking you? No, I'm telling you. Look, what's the problem? You have a nice house, nice kids and beautiful wife. You like those things, don't you? You threatening me? No, what I'm saying is, you signed with us, meaning you do what we say. You know the power and connections we have. Come on. I mean, it's been us protecting you all these years. This fight will unify the belts. I've been waiting for this chance for years. The scandals, that thing with that hooker. Remember, we took care of it for you. Be a shame if they came out. I mean, do you want your wife to know about that? For some, taking the fall would be easy. But for the hammer, it will be soul destroying. He won't be able to live with himself. But that's what happened. When you make a deal with the devil, there's no honor. Once you have served your purpose, they throw you away and move on to the next. We've seen it too many times, the rise and fall of a celebrity, but no money in the world can heal a soul that has been sold. After just watching that clip, you gotta take heed on how the boxing industry works. See, that's just the inside of how it works, bro, literally. They want the big guys to win. See the guys that are all like all these big fighters. They they want them to win. You know what I mean? Someone has to take the loss. In even though they don't want to take the loss because it goes in their record, it's like they have to take it. It's either they if, if they take don't, don't take the loss, then it's like they might get discarded or you don't know what can happen to their family. Or I'm telling you, bro, they, because they're under a contract, bro. You gotta understand all these boxes, all these professional fighters, they're all under contracts and. Um, yeah, they're literally, they're basically puppets They're told what to do they, they can't run their own show, basically So This is why it's kind of a dangerous industry You know what I mean? It's just like the music industry you got the Like, all these rappers are puppets and shit I'm telling you, the boxing industry is just like the music industry It's It's demonic, but I'm telling you Because it's all about money and just Keeping the good guys on the charts bro they, they need to keep these these big guys on the charts like canelo and um floyd mayweather and shit i'm telling you they need to keep these guys up there this is why charlo flopped that fight bro he did that he flopped that fight on purpose he he made sure he flopped it and he gave the w to canelo he did that on purpose because he had to i'm telling you don't think that fight is real that fight is fake bro i'm telling you Look, they barely even hit, they barely were like even fighting. You know what I mean? The more, more time to sparring, walking around the ring, couple hits there, couple hits there and there. But it was just a joke, bro. I'm telling you, people paid all that big money to go watch that shit when he could have watched that at home for free. Literally, I laugh at them people because look, that was a shit. It's fighting whole of history. That was a imagine two world class champion fighters just going at it, but they weren't going at it, bro. They were just walking about playing about charlo got hit one time with like a little right hook or whatever and got dropped and people are saying oh yeah he felt canelo's power and just kept running away from him or whatever man the fight's fucking rigged bro i'm telling you man it's all about the money and about the industry they need to keep these guys up there they don't want to risk canelo losing again so it's like they just they just told Charlo, bro, like, you take this money and end up, bro, I'm telling you. Because more time, you think these guys want to throw fights? It goes on their records, bro. You think these guys want to have a loss in their record? They don't, bro. But this is what happens to, like, smaller guys in the industry that face bigger guys, you know what I mean? Say, like, if I was to go in the industry and I'm at zero record and the guy that I'm versing is at, like, 50, they're... 
bro, they'll probably be like, right, let me say not zero, but say like, I'm at, I'm at like 35 fights or something, and these guys are like 100, they'll be like, you're gonna have to throw this fight because not all the time, but this is, this is usually with like the, the, the like world class champion fighters, bro, like the, the, the popular ones, bro, you know what I mean? This is usually happens with the popular ones. They want you to throw it because they need to keep these guys relevant. If these guys ain't relevant, then they don't keep their fan base. They don't keep their um, their support system. They they need their support system, bro. And their support system comes from the champions. I'm telling you. So they need to keep them up there, man. You gotta understand. Boxing is fake. Everything's fake out in this world, bro. Once you realize. You will just dive deeper in, into things. You know what I mean? I I dive deeper into things and find out little things here and there. But man, it's a cra it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy because look, I watched a press conference afterwards and it's like I, I don't know. I can't find a clip. If I can find it, I'll show you. But he was saying that basically, oh man, like I just went up a whole bunch of money. I'm telling you. He just blatantly said it, like, in the press conference, like, I just went up a whole bunch of money and, and I didn't even do anything. I'm telling you. This guy's happy, bro. He's happy. He's going on happy. He's got, like, a couple mil in his pocket. What do you mean, a couple mil? But he's got hundreds. He's probably got, like, over 100 mil from that fight. And he didn't even do nothing. This, <laughs> he didn't even do nothing. He's happy, bro. He's got a paycheck. I'm telling you. The fight was fake, bro. He... It, I can't believe that, like, I've never seen no boxing match like that in my whole history. You know what I mean? It, it just even looking at one. And I'm sure a lot of people out there are probably thinking the exact same thing as you, like, wow. I thought these guys would have went at it. I'm telling you. But that's just how it is. This is how it is. You just gotta just take heed on information and things like this, bro. Literally. Because not what every like not everything that you see is true. Like, see, you thought that fight was probably real. I'm telling you, that fight is not real, bro. Because I probably thought that I thought that at the start. I was like, is this fight really real? Like, were these guys really walking around this trying to I don't know like fight each other? What like what are they doing? I'm telling you, it's. I'm, It's all for the industry. It's all for the industry. Understand the industry. They need these guys relevant, bro. I'm telling you, Canelo, all the big guys, bro. They need them, and they don't want to see them keep losing because the more they keep losing, they become unrelevant. So they don't want them to lose, bro. This is why they don't put them up against world champion fighters all the time, bro. Because man. It's a big loss on their side, but I'm telling you, but yeah, man, literally. It's a crazy industry, literally. Even the Spence and Crawford fight, like I was even watching that as well. And he wasn't even fighting like how he how he should be fighting, but the thing is Behind the scenes, I know for that fight, they probably they probably said like don't even go all in on him because I'm telling you, bro. Fights like that where you fight two champ where two champions fight together, it's like one has to win, bro. So it's like they want the one that they feel like it's gonna be on top in the future to win. So it's like they'll go into the locker room of the the guy that they think that is gonna lose, and they'll be like, well, that they want to lose, not even think that they want to lose, and they will just tell him like, like just chill out on the fight, don't go too hard on it. Yeah, you know I mean, and more time these guys will argue back with the, like the, the guys, the managers and shit that will go at them. Oh yeah, like, but they can't do anything. But I'm telling you, you think these guys won't just kidnap your 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 family and shit, and uh, just take all your money away, make make sure that you never box again. I'm telling you, boys, it's it's dangerous. Like getting signed by all these big con like big guys and like, all these like you know what I mean, getting all these big contracts and shit, bro. Because you gotta follow and agree with everything that they say. You know what I mean? If they say jump off a roof, you gotta jump off a roof. If you, if they say um, throw the fight, you gotta throw the fight, bro. You know what I mean? And it's all for money, bro. Literally, all for money. But see, it's kind of a win and win on the ends because, man, you're making money. But 
it just it makes people look at you in a bad way you know what i mean that's what i really it, it just makes people because it makes people look down on you you know what i mean it just makes you look like you're just in for the the money and shit when you should be in for the sport i'm telling you but see i don't like with boxing i see like i don't understand why a lot of these guys fight like the only way i'll be fighting and boxing is for money you know what i mean a lot of guys out here just boxing for nothing they ain't boxing for no money or nothing bro literally getting hurt for no reason don't get don't be getting hurt in that industry for no reason make sure you're making some money on something you know what i mean because yeah you got to, yeah you got to start somewhere you got to start somewhere in that industry or, you know what i mean you got to start from zero record or whatever but make sure you're fighting for something bro don't just be fighting just to fight people because it's just worthless you know what i mean you're hurting you're hurting yourself yeah, you know I mean, have to recover, having all these days to recover your health and shit. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. It's not worth all the brain injury and all the, um, just all the backlash from it. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm telling you, man, make sure you put your health first because see these guys won't these guys these guys don't care about your health or anything you got to make sure you care about your own health and stuff because no one else will literally but man i don't know bro i'm, I'm gonna dive deep into things but i'm i feel like i'm speaking the truth you know what i mean i don't know i feel like i'm speaking the truth because it just don't seem right that fight that charlo fight you know what i mean don't seem right all that preparation they did all that i'm telling you though these guys always hype up the fights to bring in the revenue that's what they do but they hype up the fights start chatting all the shit in the press conferences and stuff because they need to bring engagement in this is why it's just marketing bro i'm telling you when they talk shit and that bro it's all marketing because they need people to watch money money I'm telling you boxing industry is demonic man but yeah be aware of things like this, bro, but man, that's all for the video. Stay tuned and I'm out.